Hi, this is Dave from Pilch with Laptop Magazine, and we are here today unboxing and setting up the Italian iMwatch smartwatch that we've been hearing about and, and looking at for so long. Uh, today, iMwatch just released a new version of their software called iMDroid 2, which improves upon the user experience on the previous generation of the watch, uh, which we got to see last year, but we never got to actually get our hands on. And now we actually have a sample, and we're going to unbox it and see what it does. So. Uh, here it is in, in the box, and we're just going to open this up. Uh, we did take it out before to take some pictures, but we've repacked everything. Uh, here's the black iMWatch color, which is the base level uh, watch uh, that you can see. Uh, it's got aluminum on it, uh, and it's got the screen here that uh, is, we believe, about uh, 240 by 240 pixels. Um, but right now it's off. Uh, other than that, in the box, there's this lower level of the box. And in here, when we pop it open, we have two things. We have the instruction manual, which is actually not uh, really this much to read because it's in a million different languages. And we have this wire. And this wire is important because this wire you better not lose if you have it. It is a USB to proprietary input wire uh, that you use to connect the iMWatch. Uh, so here's a port on the side of the iMWatch, and you plug it in here, and then this goes to your computer. Uh, for charging and data transfer and things like that. So uh, if you lose this, uh, you're going to be in real trouble because I don't think anyone else makes a cable like this. Uh, so now that we have that underway, we're going to follow the directions and plug this into our computer for the first time, turn it on, and go to setup and see what that's like. Great. So first thing we're going to do following the, the directions here is we're going to plug in this cable to the iMWatch that's powered off, and we're going to take the USB end of the cable, and we're going to plug it into a notebook here, uh, which is connected to the Internet. Then we're going to power on the watch by hitting this button here and see what happens. So you can see it's booting up. Like a lot of Android devices, uh, this, take, this probably takes a while to boot. It actually is internally running Android 1.6, uh, but they've done a lot of modifications to the software, uh, and they call this version of Android iMDroid, at, like the iMWatch 2. Uh, so, in effect, remember it's not Android 2, it's iMDroid 2. The reason that they use uh, Android 1.6 is apparently it is the lightest operating system uh, for this hardware, which is just a 400 megahertz processor and 128 meg of RAM. So, here we are, and it says on the phone itself, what language do we want? English is set by default. We're going to tap next. Uh, then it asks us for our time zone, and we're going to go here, and we're going to select uh, the local time. We're going to go up, select the local time, which is Pacific. So, and then we're going to hit next. Uh, the date is off by one day, so we're going to fix that. The time is almost correct. Just going to bring it up a little to match our notebook. And uh, then it wants to do calibration. It's the start your eye watch sensors now in order to get the best out of them. So we'll do the calibration. And it says place your eye watch on a horizontal surface before continuing. Uh, you might want to put this on a table. Uh, I'm going to just put this on my knee here so that you can see uh, what's going on. It says, please, so I hit next. It says, please wait. Then it says, please rotate slowly your iMWatch in all directions as shown in the following images, which is, which is to do it like that. So I'm going to rotate it, do it again, and, and save, and calibration is complete. Uh, we may have to recalibrate, who knows. So use these codes to register your iMWatch at www.imcloud.it. So what we are going to do is we're going to now fire up the web browser on our computer, and we're going to go to that address and see what happens. So, okay. so uh, after we uh, went to imcloud.it and we registered with our email and our name and all of that, we got a login and we've logged in here, and here's where we can take some control over the device. 
However, on the device itself, we're going to click Next because we've registered, and it invites us to connect with our smartphone now, uh, which is something that we would we would need to do in order to get um, to get the Bluetooth connection up and running. Uh, so we're going to hit Save here and see what it wants us to do. So it gives us a uh, Bluetooth uh, screen, and we're going to need to uh, take out our phone now and. Uh, and try doing that connection. Uh, so we went through the pairing process and we didn't want to show you all of it on video because it was a little painful. Uh, it took a few tries and the watch actually froze solid and we had to hold down the power button and uh, do a hard reset at one point. Uh, but now we've got the pairing set up and we're ready to play with the iMwatch and see what it can do. So that was just a quick un unboxing setup of the iMwatch. I'm Avram Pelch from Laptop Magazine.